Yes, now, Democratic Congresswoman Barbara Lee of California. She is one of the 10 House Democrats who joined the lawsuit against Donald Trump. Congresswoman Lee, great to see you, uh, as always. Thank you for joining us. I feel like, for once, I haven't made you get up uh, crazy early in the morning to talk to me. Um, Congresswoman, let's talk about this, uh, this news, this study that indicates that uh, th this grievance, white grievance, people came from areas where they've seen a decline in white populations in America replaced by either Hispanic or or, or black people, and that was that fed some of the racism that led to the decision to go and storm the Capitol on January 6th. Does that, does that help you to have any of that context? And that's the context that, uh, as an African American, we know, I know. Uh, white supremacy uh, has been with us since the beginning of time here in America. And in fact, uh, what is taking place now, as we saw uh, January 6th, is that uh, the uh, organizing, uh, such as the, the Oat Keepers, the Proud Boys, along with uh, Donald Trump, uh, Rudy Giuliani, uh, all of them have gotten together now to really uh, try to, uh, in many ways, uh, first of all, uh, they entered into what we, what I say was an attempted coup through their violence and insurrection. But secondly, they're trying to take away our fundamental democratic rights, our constitutional rights. Uh, you see what's taking place throughout the country just in terms of voter suppression laws. So this has been with us. And now I think the rest of the country, the rest of the world is seeing what African-Americans have had to deal with for, for centuries in America. Uh, experts with whom I've spoken would say that you're on solid ground calling it an attempted coup. Uh, what, what is the remedy that you're, this, this case that you have joined, uh, what, what is a remedy that makes sense? What, what do you want to happen? Sure. Well, first we seek accountability. Those responsible for this conspiracy and for instigating and perpetuating and promoting this uh, assault and this violence should be brought to justice. That's the first thing. We cannot allow our democracy to be uh, that uh, fragile. <laughs> we see now what uh, has taken place. And so we have got to move forward with this lawsuit so that people, first of all, will understand how fragile uh, it is, it was. And we have to make sure that uh, those who have tried to uh, act in dict dictatorial fashion, that we bring them uh, to justice. Secondly, we seek a punitive damage to punish those who were the principal architects of the attack. These people cannot get away with, in many respects, with murder. Uh, and so we've got to deter them from engaging in this conduct in the future. Also, we're seeking redress from uh, the harms that were uh, perpetuated and that people and members of Congress and others, Capitol Police, staff, maintenance staff, people who work on Capitol Hill, that they endured after the attack, during and after the attack, and finally, injunctive relief so that we can prevent this from ever happening again. So hopefully, and I'm so Does thankful it, for the NAACP and our civil rights lawyers for uh, putting this lawsuit together. Uh, I got 30 seconds, but does that injunctive capability that you're looking for uh, do anything to stop Donald Trump from running again? <laughs> well, we have to see how this legal process uh, moves forward. But uh, just politically, I just have to say, let, let's hope that we uh, do not allow this man to ever run for any public office again, uh, because he truly uh, is a national security threat. And he did conspire to help uh, overthrow or try to help overthrow the United States government and to prevent the peaceful transfer of power. Congresswoman, good to see you as always. Thank you for joining us. Congresswoman Barbara.